All right, hey guys, uh, Jamie here, and in this video I want to show you just a quick uh, rundown of my current um, laser setup. So in the, in the previous video you saw as far as laser goes, I built this Artur uh, Laser Master 2, and I initially put the uh, Endurance 10 watt laser on, and, uh, and that worked really well. Um, it's a great laser, but it's, it's, it's just too big and bulky. So the, the heat sink is really big, and it comes with a lot of baggage. There's a, there's a giant control box, and then there's even another control box that if, if I didn't have hooked up, uh, the laser got kind of uh, weird and it would just randomly turn on and off if that wasn't hooked up. So that was consuming some, some voltage from, from some of the logic or something, I don't know, that was making the laser turn on and off. So without, without not connected, it, uh, it just was kind of flaky. Anyway, too big and bulky is the main reason I've sw switched away from that. I'm still going to use that laser on my CNC machine. Uh, if I need to do something big that's four feet by four feet, um, I'll use that laser on the CNC machine. Uh, but for the Artur Laser Master 2, I've switched to uh, this 40 watt, I'm going to say 40 watt, um, laser I got off of Amazon for like 230, 250 bucks. Um, it's probably more like 15 watt maybe um, and it's even though even then I'm still skeptical but this does burn faster than the 10 watt endurance laser um, so with that said it's it, it is more powerful than than the 10 watt um, I haven't played around with swapping the lens yet it's got a very short focal point and so I can't do anything that's very thick I can't cut out very thick foam um, because the the divergence is it makes the backside just too fat. Um, so I may try to play around with one of the lenses that give you a longer uh, focal distance uh, to see if I can do some thicker stuff. Um, but I love this laser. This laser has been great and it's great for this. It's, it's a little bit bigger than the original laser so I've had to modify the, the points where it hits the, um, it hits the um, limit switch. And so there's, a, there's an extra piece on the back that hits the limit switch and an extra piece on the front here that hits the limit switch. Um, I did that just because the Artur is already set up. It's not set up to really move those limit switches and I didn't really want to um, 3D print uh, some weird adapter. So what I did was I just drilled a hole um, and, uh, and put a screw in that basically sticks out the distance that I needed to stick out. Uh, pretty simple, um, but it works. So. Um, the next thing I did was I raised it, as you can see here, uh, uh, a good a good foot, and uh, and this was because I wanted to use the the rotary uh, piece, and so I bought this rotary piece to do uh, cups and things like that. Like you can you can basically laser burn uh, the finish off of those those uh, powder coated cups, and so I needed this, so I needed to be higher for the cups to be able to spin and still have room. Okay, so, I, that's, so that's why it's raised up. Um, and then so if I want to do anything that's flat, you see I've got this box and I can do different pieces to adjust the height of whatever I need to do. Um, it's not very glamorous, but that works as well. Um, the last thing I did was I 3D printed this micro adjuster. So this, uh, turning this knob here will move this up and down just slightly. And so that way I can get it perfect within the, the distance that you need to, to, to laser. <coughs> And so with that said, I think I'll just give a quick demo. Um, it, right now I've got set up, I'm doing some uh, cork uh, coasters. And so I've got them taped down. Um, well, another thing I did was I took and I got a fish uh, air, um, power supply, air, uh, air supply. And, uh, and that's down below and I've got that wired to a switch on the front so I can turn on my air assist as I need to. Um, and then this, this is a 3D printed air assist thing down here. So that's what this blue tube is. This blue tube goes down to the air compressor um, and then it's just got, it just allows a little bit of air out the front of this here that uh, it actually has been working really great so far. Um, so that's what this is. And so, so I'm thinking I'll give a little demo here. I'm gonna move you in a little closer so you can see like I said, I just got a little cork here. I'm going to get my safety glasses on and I'm going to home the machine. And so you can see, you won't be able to see the back, 
but you can see that screw there is going to hit early and now I'm homed. I'm going to turn on my air. So right now this guy is going at 150 inches per minute and uh, that's kind of what I figured is really good for the cork. The cork uh, with the air assist and 50 inches per minute gives a nice a nice little finish. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's uh, and I've got it on this roll around cart, um, and the cart has an extra little power strip and a really long power cord, so I can plug this thing in anywhere I need it to be. Um, I've got a fan going in the background that's blowing air this way. Um, so that way it takes the fumes at least away from where I'm standing. Um, and that is, that is pretty much my current laser setup. Uh, like I said, this guy here is, for, is it says 40 watt. Um, it's, it's 40 watt input power. Um, it says it's 15 watt output power. I'm pretty sure it's more than 10, but I don't know if it's 15 or not. So it's really hard to say without a uh, really expensive uh, output measuring device um, to, to actually tell what that laser output is. Uh, so it's more than 10, probably not more than 15. If they, if they say it's 15, it wouldn't be more than 15. So I would guess it's somewhere between 10 and 15. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll leave a link for this in the description, a link to the Artur Laser Master in the description. Um, and uh, thanks for watching.